favorite experience with quilting? Well, I've got I've got so many good uh, things that's happened to me in quilting. I think I had, I really enjoyed hand quilting, and then when I got into machine quilting, I really enjoyed that. And um, I guess it just it kind of I just used to do a lot of crafts and things, but I gave up all of those, and quilting just became my favorite thing to do. And every time I had a spare minute, that's what I was doing was quilting. Wonderful. Please tell us a little bit more about maybe your inspiration for this quilt. Golden well, Glow. Golden Glow, um, I came down uh, the one year uh, uh, and I went to the Rotary Club and they had a quilt hanging in there, an antique quilt, and I seen uh, this quilt and it had four hearts in the center, kind of like this. and. Um, I didn't, I took a picture of it, but I didn't like the rest of the quilt at all. It was an antique quilt, and, and um, so when I went home, I drew the four hearts. And uh, then I just started out, and I didn't know, uh, I didn't have a real plan uh, except the four hearts. And then I had never done um, the um, uh, sawtooth edges. And uh, so I started doing that, and then I needed something to fill in here, and I went into a Dover book, and I um, got this small, uh, it was just about this large, mm -hmm. and I enlarged it and then twisted this around so it would go up instead of down, and uh, that's how I'd come about with, and enlarged it on the uh, copy machine, and uh, that's how I come up with the uh, floral design. And then I, I wanted, I had just, I intended to make a 60 inch quilt and that's all the uh, fabric I had. Uh, and it was a batik honey mm -hmm. and I could not match that. And so then I finally found this gold fabric and it actually made the quilt because it, it just, I don't know, with the two colors together, it just made it stand out so much better. It gave it more dimension. And then I took part of this design and just twirled it around and twirled it around and made the border and um, and then just do the, the Celtic uh, in the part of the borders. And it just grew. Uh, it just, you know, I just didn't know from one time to another what I was going to do each border, but that's just the way it went together. Well, now you're making it all sound very simple and very easy, and I'm sure that it was not. Well, it wasn't, but it was it was a labor of love. That's what I've always said. All of my quilts have been a labor of love because I, I like to design and I, I don't like to just take somebody else's pattern and do it. Uh, I like to kind of to make it my own. And, uh, and of course, it took me three years to make the quilt. Wow. So. so what words of encouragement or inspiration could you give to some uh, quilters out there who um, just need that extra little push to, to maybe go a little step Well, I, I've, I've been a teacher uh, and taught quilting uh, for years, and um, I always say, you know, start out with something easy and then keep working at it, and, and usually the ones that I've taught and helped, they get hooked on it, just like I did. <laughs> And you know, quilting is something that's been one of the most wonderful things for the women the last uh, 40 years or so. Uh, uh, and it stayed in popularity. And I think most of the people that get into it, you know, they're really hooked on it. And uh, it, you know, if you've got any um, uh, artistic talent or anything, or if you don't, there's a place for everybody in quilting. You can just do very um, plain uh, patterns, or you can get, you know, carried away with it like I did. But, you know, it's just something for everybody in quilting. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here today and visiting the National Quilt Museum and sharing your beautiful quilts with us. Well, I have really enjoyed it, and like I say, I didn't know that I was going to have this done today, but I have enjoyed it. <laughs> Good. I'm so glad. Thank yeah. you. Okay, thank you.